the build show from the International Builder Show 2022. I've got Eric Ani, Jake Bruden, Lydia Crowder, and Stephen Basic, and we're gonna bring you the best. Are you ready, guys? Let's get going. All right, Steve, we're here at the Builders First Source Ready Frame house. Steve, have you seen Ready Frame before? I'm not as familiar with it. I mean, I saw a couple of your great videos and, and Luke's, but that's Okay, about so it. here's the deal, Steve. Ready Frame, they came out with this system seven, eight years ago, something like that. And I saw it in the Vegas Builder Show and was absolutely blown away. You know, you and I, for years, as we talk about high performance houses, people have raised their hand and say, hey, Matt, what about houses that are built in a factory and shipped to the job site and assembled. And it's always seemingly in the future, but never quite makes it, right. including a company like Katera that went out of business recently that was funded with ridiculous piles of cash and they still couldn't do it. But on the other hand, ReadyFrame, which we're about to show you, I think Steve, is the future that's really arrived. And now we're on seven or eight generations of year over year improvements. So let me give you yeah, a tour. Yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so you and I deal with floor plans like this. This is what I would get from the architect to build the house, right? Dimensions, everything's on there. Then the engineer is gonna get involved and he's gonna give me a plan like this. This is the engineering 2D plan from the engineer. This shows my headers, my, uh, you know, all of my structural framing in the house, anything that I need, including potentially a truss right. plan. And what's interesting, I, I've actually done plans like this where we laid out all the studs and it's just really time consuming, but those projects require the extra effort. Mm -hmm. So it's great to have a source that you can go to that provides this level of coordination yeah. without that level of effort. So here's the deal, Steve. Uh, BFS, Builders First Source, which by the way, BMC and BFS merged about a year ago, so this is also BMC has this software from MyTech where they can actually take this plan and turn it into a 3D framing plan so you can literally visualize the entire skeleton of the house before anything happens. I can even take that and mark up some big red HVAC and run it through there. That's exactly right. We can figure <laughs> out where our duct runs are gonna go. We can put joists in there. This can have the uh, trusses for the roof. Whatever is structural that's wood in the house is on there. And it's a good, it's a, a good check and balance system because you get this, I could be able to sit in the office and kind of flip this thing around and just do a quick check to make 100%. sure all of my design intent is coming out real here. That's right. Now if that looks good to you and I, follow me Steve, then we press print, which is both literal and figural, figurative, and at the BMC Builders First Source Ready Fame factory, here's what happens. All of the stud packs, everything that happens for this, let's say this wall right here, gets ink jetted and pre-cut such that when I'm on the job site, all I do for this wall right here is I grab the bundle that's all uh, kind of taped together, I lay it out on the floor and there's no saw whatsoever on the job site. The frame carpenter, all he has to do, or she has to do, is nail this thing together and sheath it on the backside and there's basically zero waste on this process. Yeah. And the great thing about, you know, having these this kind of information there is that it's great from the initial standpoint of I'm putting the puzzle together that the puzzle's all laid out for me as an instruction booklet. But as the job super and building inspector, they can come by and just get in the habit of saying, okay, everything aligns, it's put together right. Yeah, that's right, exactly. Because all of these locations for this cripple, for this sill, for this king and jack stud, everything is ink jetted, printed. Now I do have a map of a, uh, you know, a Lego builder's guide to building the house, but it really takes every dimension, makes it perfectly accurate, and allows us to build a house really quick with very little dumpster action and no saws. It's amazing that we use the, the toy world as the model for our building world. <laughs> yeah, like right. Lego had this 30 Figured years out. ago. That's right. <laughs> you can put a book together and build the house. But what's cool about this, Steve, is you know I had someone raise a hand when I was lecturing yesterday on uh, high performance building. And they said, hey, when are we going to have the future of these houses that are pre-built on the job site? And going back to what I said earlier, this is the future. It's actually happening. They built like 30,000 houses last year with ReadyFrame. 
18 out of the top 20 builders in the U.S. are utilizing ReadyFrame in some way, shape, or form. They've got 36 locations around the country that will do this for you. This is pretty impressive, and they're going to continue to roll out more and yeah, more. Yeah, and, and, and shorten that kind of coordination effort and responsibility chain to, you know, the, the single source of Builders First Source and having them do all the layout and puzzle making, and then just having the framer put the puzzle together is just... It, 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 it really takes the opportunity to have mistakes out of the picture. 100%, totally. For more info, check out Builders First Source, find your local rep, and ask them if it's available in your area. All right, guys, coming to you from the James Hardy booth, you're probably familiar with this product. It is the Kleenex brand in the industry, Hardy Backer. They've been on the market for like 30 years. And when someone says backer board, they typically say Hardy Backer no matter what they're talking about. They've got it in quarter inch and half inch for floors. Been using that for, like I said, three decades. But what's new is this right here, Hydro Defense. On the market last year, starting to see builders adopt it more and more. Here's the deal, this red coating on the outside is allowing you to eliminate the waterproofing coating that we've used for years on the entire Hardy Backer in the shower. Now all we've got to do is the seams. I just did this on a house recently and it was super fast, installs like normal Hardy Backer, but it allows me to actually save a little bit of money and a little bit of time because now I'm not coating the entire walls. They've got a display out here that shows it. Basically this is that hydro defense, that kind of reddish, uh, I don't know if it's how they bake it in, but it's that waterproofing coating. Same cement board that we've used and trusted forever. And now look at that head of water that it's resisting out there. Great new product from James Hardy. Hey guys, coming to you from the View Rail booth. If you're not seeing these guys before, this is really what they're known for, their signature. This is the View Rail flight staircase. Everything you see here gets manufactured in Indiana and then shipped to your job site. So you can get a super custom, very contemporary stair, but installed at your job. Now this is that modern staircase, modern stringer in the center, floating treads. But what's new with View Rail this year is on everything, you're gonna see lights everywhere. Lighted treads right here lighted handrail. Let's go see Len, the owner of the company, and see what else is new from these guys. We just did a product. It was a, a they want a glass rail. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so I found View Rail watching his show, <laughs> and I did the installation myself. How about that? Fantastic. I had a great time. It was, it was beautiful. I thought there's no way this panel's going to stand up. <laughs> hey guys, let me introduce you to Len, the founder of the company. Len, you may be the founder, but you and I have talked a lot. You're really the chief innovator around here, aren't you? Well, I guilty as charged. <laughs> uh, I think you've pegged me well. So talk to me about what's new this year. You've got some cool looking staircases on display. Matt, we've been working hard since we last met. We have two things I really want to show you. This one is called Terrace. Ooh, I like this. So it's a really giving honor to, to lumber and to wood and the beauty of it. Uh, this is a beautiful white oak. Uh, tread mm -hmm. has a nice matte finish to it. It's been wire brushed to give it some texture mm -hmm. and some warmth. I love me some white oak, Len. That's what I have in my house. I got my treads from you guys yeah. and I did white oak. But look at that folding staircase design. That is, that's the holy grail of uh, modern stairs right there. There's got to be some steel in there, isn't there? There is steel lurking inside of there. <laughs> and we've done the engineering for you. We've figured out how to put it together because we know how busy you guys are and how difficult trades are. Yeah. And so we're really working hard to make it buildable for you and to make it fast for That's you. That's awesome. And you know about VRI, yeah. our installation wing, if you need it. Yeah, so guys, if you're not familiar, this staircase, if I was a builder ordering this, <laughs> I could order this. Everything's engineered in Indiana, all fabbed, all pre-finished, including the glass, the handrail. This isn't just something that was added on later. This all is made from Lens Factory and comes out on the job. And I can assemble it with my finished carpenter, but Lens Company's got a nationwide install 
team, right? That's your yeah. in-house people, right? Yeah, they're all employees, um, fully kitted out with vehicles to be able to travel to the job site to get this installation done. We have a training center uh, that we put people through so that they know exactly what they're doing. And we're pretty quick at it. That's because pretty awesome. Design delivered done. That's what we want to bring to you as a builder. I love it. Now earlier, Len, I was mentioning the lights on the treads on the V-Rail flight. This has lights too, doesn't it? It's a little too bright in here to see them all super well. But is each tread lighted? So Matt, this is like light to the next level. This is <laughs> we, we did some fun stuff here. So we've been able to not only uh, put a light, an accent light mm -hmm. underneath every tread, but we have also built lights into each of these end caps. There's a puck in there. Uh, and so when it is dark. So this is actually lit too on the edge. This whole glass just glows. Dang, that's cool. It's controllable. You can control the color temperature. That's pretty You neat. can control the intensity. I bet if it was nighttime in a house, you'd even see this lit a little bit, wouldn't you? Oh, you see it very well. It, wow. This edge just has a beautiful feel to it and a beautiful look. And That's um, pretty awesome. We're doing all the work for you. It's all wired. And all you have to do is bring, uh, have your electrician bring 110 volts to it, plug it in, and you can connect with our home, your own home, home automation. Yeah, yeah. Or you can um, use one of the wireless controllers we sent you. That's pretty awesome. All right, y'all, coming to you from the Sugitsune booth. These guys make some really cool hardware for doors. So check out this display. First off, these four doors all have some cool tricks hidden behind the door. This is their Lynx system. Brand new this year is the 1200 model. Look at the size of that door. And in fact, you can go quite wide and quite tall, just shy of a 120 inch tall door. And this system will hold up to 190 some pounds. That's some serious hardware. They've also got a smaller version of it. This is the Lynx uh, LIN X800. This is more like for a closet door. So a little bit smaller door, but still that really cool action. All right, now if you don't know Sugitsune, this is the hinge that got me started on hidden doors years ago. I made a YouTube video, probably 2008, utilizing this hinge that I just happened to find on the web, and I was blown away by it. Removable, which is unusual for these style hinges, but also adjustment. See these screws right here? We can adjust these hinges up, down, right, left, in, out. And that was the big deal for me. And so here, these two doors here are utilizing those hidden hinges. Oh, this one's got a touch latch too, I like that. I got a bunch of touch latches in my house. This is also a pretty affordable piece of hardware right here. But this will show you all the sizes. This hinge, they make it in all kinds of sizes and weights all kind of finishes, including white, like I used in my house, because I use this on some white shiplap walls. That's a cool piece of hardware. But you know what I like about Sugitsune? It's not just cool hardware, they have great people. If you call their 800 number, a live body is gonna actually answer the phone. And I've got a guy over there, Keith. There he is right there. Hey, Keith, how are you? good time. Oscar you're just happened to come around the corner. <laughs> Keith Awe is my guy. So when I was building my house, I was able to call Keith and go, Keith, I want to do something cool at my house. I want to do some interesting hardware. And Keith and I were able to banter back on the phone. I've known you for over a decade now. And you guys have some cool hardware. So my call to you as builder is to say, find your person at Sugasuni, call those guys, talk to them about your projects and what hardware you might be able to use. And they'll be able to help figure it out like Keith did. Now Keith, what do you got over here? Matt, this is our new MFU 1200 system. This is the upgraded version from our predecessor. Oh, Just press look on the at door, that. slides right back, and you can see that this is our flush sliding door system. So you just pull it back, and it's got a two way That's soft cool. open as well as soft close. But not just one door, peeps. Check this out two doors. How cool entrance. is that? That is a neat entrance. <laughs> now, you got to have a little bit of a thicker wall, right? You're not going to bear this into a two by four wall. Correct. You got to have what, eight inches just or so? About eight inches of space behind the front of the, uh, the wall. That's pretty neat. I like that. And they're independent, right? So you can close one door and then close the other independent of each other. Exactly. You and can just build a single door or you could do the biparting. Ah, and soft close, like yeah. all the cool Sugatsuni hardware. Oh, yeah. That's not it though. You've got a new pocket door system I wanted to see. What is this? We do. And you should know about this, Matt. Um, there's a lot of great features with this new sliding door system. This is our FD80. Okay. 
Uh, what's great about this is, as you can see, it has a two-way soft close. So that's soft closing. Well, it's soft open as well? Exactly, yep. But that's not a very wide door, is it? It's not, and that's what's one of the great things. You know, there's other manufacturers, of course, that have uh, sliding door systems with soft close. They can't get it quite, the you know, door has to be a lot wider mm -hmm. in order to achieve that two-way soft close. So what's the smallest door I could go soft close both directions? Or smallest soft close, soft open? It would be 30 inches. How about that? That's awesome. Inches, yes. That's impressive. So basically, just shy of a 2-6 door, you can go soft close both directions. But that's not the only cool feature, is it? One more. <laughs> but wait, there's One more. more. There's definitely more. Uh, if you can see here, there's a seam here. This is actually a two-piece track system. And why uh, that's important for you? Well, if in the future, I don't know, 10 years, we'll go another 10 years. Right, uh, right. Uh, if there's ever any uh, maintenance that you need to take care of, just pull down this track. Uh, and you can access and slide out all the hardware. So it's hard to see, we got some overhead lights here, but there's a split right here, Keith telling me. Yeah, I can see it now. And so you could actually pop these screws out, pop this track off, this door comes out, falls off its track, which is still in there. You can do whatever maintenance, and you know what? You could also paint the door, which would be a big deal, or repaint the door, pop it back in, slide in the track, screw that in, you're done. That's cool, Keith. I don't know any other manufacturer that has that. Okay, so I am at Quaker Windows. This is one that not a lot of people have heard of before. I know them because we've used them in the past. They're actually about 30 miles from me in Lynn and Eldon, Missouri. And I wanna talk about the fact that they have a passive house rated window. The ones that we're gonna look at are double glazed, but they'll accept a triple pane uh, so we can get pretty high R value glass. They make, uh, I believe it's called the City Series. And so this is all aluminum. It's aluminum on the inside and the outside. Because the frame has a uh, composite spacer for thermal break, you can get black outside, white inside, or vice versa, or whatever color that they make, you can do two-tone. The other thing is they do really small sight lines. They even have uh, the bend in place screen that fits into a channel so the screen doesn't add anything to this, but they make them in fixed, they make them in casement, and then they also make it in an awning, and I just thought that hardware was pretty nice. They'll make a crank out casement, but that movement, I can see this in a multi-story uh, passive house uh, situation. They also, because they have that thermal break in the middle of their frame, they can have aluminum on the outside and they can have wood on the inside and they'll do a bunch of different finishes. They don't make a tilt turn, but they do make a crank out casement. They do make an awning. They do make those pictures. So we're seeing a lot of passive house windows and I like the idea that these might come to one of our job sites from about 30 miles away. So check these guys out. What's up guys, coming to you from the Huber booth, IBS 2022. We're about to do best of social. We got a build show friendly crowd here behind me, but I wanted to tell you about a brand new product that when I first saw it, I was like, huh, how does that work? But then when I thought about it for a minute, this is a pretty cool product. It's called Exacor. This is an MGO board. Make sure I get the name right. It's a magnesium oxide board. Now as an old school green builder, I've heard about magnesium oxide for a while but I've never actually used it. Here's the deal, this is a mined product, similar to gypsum, and the story in the green building world is it's less carbon intensive. When they mine this MGO, they only have to heat it fairly low temperature compared to some of the other products that need a lot of energy to make them happen. So this has a pretty cool environmental story, but here's the deal for builders, even residential builders, although this is definitely squarely aimed at you commercial builders who are doing multifamily type projects. This is a fire rated structural panel. That's right, structural, meaning you can even use it like this display as subfloor. This is a three quarter tongue and groove that you're seeing here. You can even use this as subfloor and it's fire rated. They've got a really cool demo over here where they're showing uh, a guy with a flamethrower on an Exacor panel and compare that to plywood, which is also structural, which will burn. Pretty cool. Now, commercial guys are used to using gypsum, uh, you know, panels, four by eight sheets of fire rated gypsum of some sort, usually like fiberglass faced, right? So we don't have any paper facing that could mold. But this would be an amazing replacement for a commercial builder because now it's got some strength to it, right? This isn't flimsy. You see this half inch version, it's got some meat. And not only that, you don't have to screw it. You can even nail it. You could use your nail gun, just dial up your pressure a little bit and nail it. 
they've got some secret sauce in there, but it looks like they've got some type of fiberglass backer mesh in there, and that's on both sides of the panel. So now we've got structure and we've got the ability to withstand fire and fire assemblies. So for sheathing on that side of a building, that's a big deal. It's also a big deal for sound. Like this assembly they're showing, this is just some three-quarter Advantech, and then on top of that, we've got some Mexicor. So now we've got a fire rating between, let's say, levels on a townhouse or a multifamily. Plus, we've got the ability to knock down that footfall noise. A lot of builders, like me, have used some flowable type of lightweight concrete on the second floor to drop that footfall noise between levels. It's kind of a pain. It's hard to get it level. It's pretty darn expensive. It takes a while to dry. Think about this product. I could drop this in my house. My framers could do it. They could put the Advantech down first. They could put a three-quarter Exacore down. Now I've got a really heavy assembly. You're not gonna hear that footfall noise from traveling from the upstairs family room down into mom and dad's bedroom. Anyways, like I said, I think commercial builders this could be a total game changer using this on the outside. Now you notice though, this face is not inherently waterproof per se, but instead of gypsum board that you're trying to coat in, it's a pretty flimsy, it'd be easy to punch through or knife through. This on the other hand is really strong. So this is a cool product. I'm hoping that commercial builders start using this because then they can use, let's say, a Prosico fluid applied on the outside or potentially a peel and stick. Really do a bomber, water, and air bear on the outside, but now you've got a structural panel. But I'm, I'm interested to see if residential builders might pick this up. There's a lot of infill builders uh, that are building close to lot lines and they've got some fire codes, they need rated assemblies. Talk to your Huber uh, reps locally about Exacore. It sounds like this is rolling out across the nation. It'll be available soon. You use it every day, so that's why the best out of work did you use. How about that? That's pretty cool, y'all. It gets me stoked, and Jamie as well, I'm sure. Uh, just to see that people are enjoying what we're doing, you're learning something. It is a lot of work, if you didn't know. Hey guys, we're here at the Power Tool Safe booth with Paul. Paul has a really cool asset management or asset tracking company that's web based that you can track all your power tools on a job yeah. site inside yeah. your company. And what caught my attention is I, for one, has done a terrible job of keeping up with all the tools that we've bought. No telling, I mean, yeah. thousands of dollars. And maybe stuff's come up missing and we can't even keep up with that in our system. So, Paul, tell us about this, this program and your software. All right, well, that's kind of how we got here too. I was the same way. And yeah. this, the thing is most people don't keep good records of their equipment. So we figured if we can help you generate records of your equipment, it makes it a whole lot easier for you to track what you've got to okay. sort it by employees or job site, report it stolen, search for it online. If you don't have records, there's really not much you can do. Oh, awesome. So what we did is we designed a way that we can actually take pictures of your equipment and attach receipts to it or generate records for that equipment so then you then have the tools for reporting and sorting. So you're taking a picture of the tool when you buy it. Exactly. Uploading it to your platform with serial number, yes. any markings, any information yep. about it. It goes into a database, yes, and then that's saved on the cloud, so you can access Correct. it anywhere. And then yeah. the cops have access to that, right? So if something's reported stolen, they know where to look. Yes. Is that the deal? Absolutely. So the back end is searchable by law enforcement or pawn shops. Awesome. Um, that way, if a tool is searched, belongs to you, it's instant email notifications. That's really Our cool. law enforcement is so taxed with everything they've got on their plates right now, any resources we can give them actually helps our builders. That's cool. So, so can you, yeah. and, but you can assign it. So if you have multiple crews, you can assign it to yes. one trim cruise trailer or van, and then you can perhaps, do, I guess, keep inventory, yeah. right? So you can do annual checks or monthly checks yes. to make sure they haven't lost any of their tools, right? You got it. You sound yeah. like you've been through the process. That's perfect. Yeah. Well, yeah. the pains of it, the pains without yeah. this process. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Paul, thanks so much, hey, man. I appreciate you. you taking the time to do it. Appreciate man. it. Have a good show. Thank thanks. you. Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm Kyle Stumpenhorse, RR Buildings, and I've got a new innovative slitter for your Tapco or Vanmark brakes from Innova Tools. And this thing is a game changer. And let me show you why. Most of the time when you uh, have a slitter, you're gonna go ahead and slit your material and you're gonna have to take this off because you can't, you can't bend up your material. Well, with this we can. But also, you're gonna leave the slitter right on your brake and you're gonna come back and it's just gonna pop right back up and you can make your bends. Never having to remove this off of your brake, it's gonna increase efficiencies. And honestly, it's probably gonna protect your accessory from getting damaged, maybe getting rolled around on the ground.
All right, guys, it's been an amazing week here at IBS 2022. Big thanks to all my friends on Build Show Network who came and shot some videos at various booths. We got some amazing content over there at buildshownetwork.com. Sign up in the link uh, below for our newsletter. Twice a week now, we're sending an email out to our crew saying, hey, here's what's new on the site. Here's Jake's new video, or Steve's, or Lydia's, or Brent's, or Eric's. And that way you kind of know what's new over on buildshownetwork.com. Follow those guys on Instagram as well. And I do want to say thanks also to a couple of their builders who did some cameos for us and showed us what was cool at IBS 2022. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, otherwise we'll see you next time on The Build Show.